Love is a temporary ma madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots have so entwined together that it's inconceivable that you would ever part. Because this is what love is. Love is not breathlessness. It's not excitement. It's not the promulgation of promises of eternal passion. That is just being in love, which is any fool can do. Love itself is what is left over when being in love has burned away. And this is both an art and a fortunate accident. Those who truly love have roots that grow toward each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen, fallen from the branches, they find that they are one tree and not two. This is what love is. Our ceremony is a little unconventional. We don't have one officiant. We have all of our friends marrying us at once. We wanted to involve all of our friends because everyone's so important to us. Our ceremony is built on the four elements. Jack and I, with spirituality, we don't particularly have any sort of religion that we followed, and we chose the four elements to help us represent our spirituality today. We're going to begin with air, and the spirit of air will be breathing as one and thinking of those who matter to us most. Now we're going to move on to fire. Fire is often seen as a symbol of purification and renewal. As they commit their shared life together, in the spirit of fire, they have chosen to release their past negativities and grow from the ashes. In the spirit of earth, we got this beautiful plant together and we're going to replant it to give it a better home. Let its roots grow right here. Are we going to send them? Alright, so Jack and Monica have decided to write their own vows to express their love to one another. Then, in the spirit of water, they have chosen to wash each other's feet as a declaration of love and surrender, followed by the exchanging of rings to seal the deal. Upon completion of these ceremonies, I will have the honor and the privilege of pronouncing Jack and Monica officially married. With the honor they give me in front of all of you, let me be the first to congratulate Jack and Monica on their marriage. Jack, give your wife a kiss. <laughs>
May we build a new life beyond survival mode so we can heal from our pasts together. May we fully commit to creating a safe space for ourselves and each other, allowing difficult conversations and honest communication to flow free. May we view conflict as an opportunity to find middle ground, work as a team, and to learn how to deal with disappointment. May we forgive ourselves and each other for the times we have leaned into suffering, acted from the wounded versions of ourselves, and shied away from love. May we make intentional choices that align with our values, even when others disagree. May we be a spiritual home to one another, a place to be vulnerable, open, and fully ourselves.